Morning everyone, how are we? Hope you're having a great start to the new week. Weather's not particularly great, and it's starting to get a little bit colder, but hey ho, let's get on with it, don't we? So, today, going back to mobility work, what I want to talk about is how to relieve tension in the neck, so especially in the traps, uh, all in the side of the neck, the muscles coming down, holding tension here, holding tension particularly in the traps, we're going to release that tension. So um, a lot of us obviously are sitting down, sentry jobs, sitting at the desk, talk about rounding shoulders, obviously how we can help that posture doing the floor angels. And then we're looking at the neck muscles, okay? So muscles that come join the back of the base of the skull. So how can we release that tension? Because a lot of people say, oh, my neck's really sore, I can't turn my head. What can I do to help release that? So very, very basic exercise I'm going to show you today. So the first thing we do, we need to hold an object in the opposite hand where you want to stretch the neck. So, you know, I've got a kettlebell here, I know most of you have really kettlebells at home. Just hold something heavy. Um, you can have a bucket with some sand or some water in, or something that's roughly about three to four kilos you can hold in one hand. So what we can do is we try to just relax your shoulder, but have good posture. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hold the other side of my head. So just gently hold the side of the head, round the ear, don't pull the front of the skull, then you're gonna twist the neck. So in the middle of your head, okay? So what we're gonna do is let that shoulder just relax, and then it just gently relax, and I feel that stretch down the side of the traps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch my neck, and I'm gonna stretch where the traps run up the side of the neck, join the base of the skull. So what I'm gonna do here is actually hold the side of my head, just a couple deep breaths in and out. Come straight and stretch in the shoulder right there, let it drop down. And I'm gonna breathe in. Try to press the neck at this point, just bring my ear to my opposite shoulder, breathe out, and then just stretch. So I can feel that stretch straight away on the side of my neck. Okay, and I'm just letting the shoulders drop. And then gently just stretch it over. I can feel a nice stretch on the side of my traps. So I feel a little bit of tension on my left side, probably where I stepped last night. And I'm bringing this here to obviously trying to get to my shoulder as much as I can. So as you can let that stretch out. So I'm gonna breathe in, and I'm gonna gently push against my hand with my head, just to activate the muscles around that. So I'm gonna activate, I'm trying to get a bit stronger. Hold tension, keep pushing against my hand, 10 seconds. Now on the 10 seconds, breathe out, relax. And just a little bit more of a stretch. I can feel a little bit more range in there. And then just gently relax. So that's a nice stretch on the side of the neck. It's where the traps run down. So we always get tight on the top of the side of our traps. We're laying on the pillow. Next a bit crooked. So I can definitely on my left side. We're laying my left side last night. Swap sides. And just do that three to four times each side. Just as you, just to release that tension. And it's quite nice. Just be careful not to twist the neck. And trying to drink, bring the chin in. You're trying to drop your ear towards your shoulder. All right? So it's on the breath. So breathing in. Breathing out, just relax, hold it 10 seconds or 10 breaths, and then just put a little bit of tension, pushing against my hand, trying to bring my head back up, I'm just holding that back, that 50%, just push it in to activate the muscle, and then rip it out and relax, you get a little bit more range in there, that will help with your tension. So now we're gonna look at the rotating, okay? So we're gonna just try simple 10 o'clocks, and two o'clocks, and eight o'clocks, and four o'clocks, just to get the neck moving around. So look at the range, and you'll feel where you're tight as well. So all I want to do is look up, and I'm going to twist my chin up. So, say for instance, I want to go to that two o'clock range. So I'm going to breathe in, just relax, breathe out. I'm just going to twist my chin up. I don't feel any tightness. So I'm not too bad here. I feel that release now. A little bit tight. The muscles coming down from the chin down to, to, to uh, attaching top of the sternum and then literally just, sorry, top of the shoulders. So the muscles have gone the clavicle here, so I can feel that. And then I come down, and then I come back over again. I'm going to that 10 o'clock. So I can just feel a big muscle here, it comes down. I think it's still a kind of muscle, where it attaches on the clavicle here, and it comes up, obviously, to the jawbone. It's that one there, we can see that. It's quite a uh, muscle there, that does that define there on a lot of people. And then I come down again, so I can stretch. Then I can come down, obviously, coming across. So Four o'clock, trying to get, obviously, to the shoulder. Come 
across and there you go. So eight o'clock, we could bring that chin down. Again, I'm trying to get to that shoulder the tension there, so it's not too bad there for me. And then just work on that range. So you feel where you feel you're tight or feel lack of mobility, just work on that. Just work on a couple of sets in that hold there for 10 seconds on the breath and relax. And then we can work on that rotation, which is lateral flexion. So then we're going to go, go over to my right shoulder. So I'm going to breathe in, breathe out, and just twist. So again, I can feel that tension on my traps just around here. back to centre. And I'm just going to test the other way. I'm breathing while I'm doing this. And just relax. I still feel a little bit of tension in my traps there, but it's better. I'm just relaxing while I'm doing this. So then go side to side. I feel tension so I can come. I'm going to really try and stretch this side out now. Rotate right, round. And go in the other way. So if you're a bit of tension, just do that. Very, very basic neck exercises, but it will release tension in the traps. Uh, the muscles coming down here, like I said, the stomach on the muscle, wherever it comes down here, touch onto the, the clavicle, uh, base of the uh, jawbone, and then it's just actually releasing those tension and work on different ranges, and that will help release that tension. Then the headaches you're going to get as well, where the muscles are really, really tight, where the neck's always forward and holding tension, and we get quite sore headaches, where we have a lot of tension at the base of that skull. Do that at home, so you can do it once or twice a day, especially if you're sitting down during your job, you could actually get, get yourself up, do some rotations, loosen up the shoulders, every like 20 minutes, half hour, do some neck turns. You know, people think what you're doing, but you know, it does help, and then you can get back to your job, okay? So you do that, guys, let us know you get on. Very, very simple, but effective, and it will release that tension, and hopefully it will stop those neck pains and the headaches you get during the day. Thank you for watching. My name is Mike Carl, let's have our fitness, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.